Howdy, 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 my beautiful Leo. How are you doing, darling? My name is Simply Valka, and today we're going to get into your weekly tarot reading, Leo, for June. All right. So if you enjoy this tarot reading here today, Leo, be sure to give this video a like and subscribe, darling. Join the family. It's completely free to do, darling, and it helps me out a lot. So why not? All right. Um, as well, Leo, be sure to check out your sun, moon, rising, and Venus sign. That's how you get the best understanding of what's going on in your life when you're consuming general tarot readings on YouTube or wherever, darling, is by involving all aspects of your chart not just like your sun sign right so let's just get into this reading here today for you leo let's see where the vibes are currently at we already had a card coming out for you honey so let's see what's going on with you <laughs> all right so for you leo we got the sun energy here the two of wands as well as the eight of swords coming in here Ooh, darling isn't time good for you right now leo isn't time good for you right now i see you guys finally getting out of your head here leo all right, with this Eight of Swords here, all the limiting thoughts, the ideas, the perception that you had about yourself and your environment, Leo, it's finally starting to dissipate here. I feel like you guys are starting to be kinder to yourself because in the back of the deck here, we have here the Seven of Swords, darling. So this lets me know initially where it's like, you guys, Leo, for a while now have been a little bit too hard on yourself. Can I just say, darling, a little bit too hard on yourself. It's like because of all the complications that you've been dealing with in your personal life uh leo it's been a little bit hard for you to not on some level take it personally right darling where you're just like come on now darling <laughs> like is it me am i the drama like am i putting something out there in the universe be having these types of people coming in these complications coming in honey right all those questions that you you've probably been finding yourself asking leo this lets you know that it's not personal all right i feel like for you leos you guys had like your personal time you know it's like you started out having like you know maybe you gave yourself like a little bit of a cheat weekend honey leo where you're just like all right this is weekend i'm gonna just be like drink my wine honey i'm gonna be able to relax and lounge around uh lay around honey and then afterwards you know the beginning of the week we get back started right some of you guys it might have lasted a little bit longer than a week leo but that's okay darling you're just human right but i see for you guys leo it's like you had like your personal time where you were in your feelings, all right? Being a little bit too critical of yourself, all right? Maybe feeling a little bit sorry for yourself if we're gonna be honest, darling. Don't, there's no shame to it, darling. We, again, we're human. Let's normalize the human experience. It doesn't matter how old you are or how spiritually elevated somebody thinks they are, Leo, all right? We're gonna have those moments where we just feel sorry for ourselves, and that's just necessary, all right? But I see you guys finally getting out. Um, I see you guys, Leo, especially for those that are been making some big plans for their future here. You know, the Sun card is the best card in the tarot deck, Leo. And so what I see for you guys, it's like um, you by you guys finally starting to get back out of your shell again, Leo, and really just being comfortable again with taking up space. I see you guys starting to make more long term plans here. It's just like you had to, it's like you needed like a little bit of a rest period all right have your moment of feeling sorry for yourself but it's just like after you have that period of healing uh leo you are just naturally yes we have this empress energy like you have to feel sorry for yourself leo so then once you get came back out swinging like you were came like the world was not ready for you darling right your people your friends your your competition honey right no one like no one is ready for leo once they're once they have their rest period because it's like for you leo maybe this is internally for you all right but it's like you knew like on some level that you needed like a little bit of a sleeping period because of like how much space you guys intended on taking after the fact all right and so if you guys are still in your resting phase your sleeping period honey all right that's completely fine continue on getting that beauty sleep all right because what i see with you guys here leo is like after you get that beauty sleep darling you become very much so attractive here all right you start being able to really create things that you want to see in this world here all right be paying attention this week leo once you guys start getting out of your shell it's almost as if like you guys like developed like a new style maybe you guys are starting to like put more invest more in your like your skincare leo or perhaps like i don't know i get like this sense of where you start really feeling good whether this starts out as internally and then it starts spreading out externally leo where it's like you you know <laughs> 
um, just taking care of yourself. Like the world responds to this very beautifully. Like again, when we have this two of wands here with the sun card, I feel like, yeah. And then right afterwards, we I'm just looking down. It's the eight of pentacles coming in here. It's like, Leo, once you get back out swinging, darling, you guys really like go the mile. You guys really start opening up opportunities for yourself and you start realizing that like, you are putting all these limiters on yourself. This is almost like a, a lesson for some of you Leos and realizing that it's just like this entire time you were capable of accomplishing and doing so much with your life, but you're just holding yourself back, Leo. You just have like your own personal insecurities or just whatever you, you know, darling, imposter syndrome, darling, it's your business, right? We don't need to be identifying it per on here right now today, darling, okay? But <laughs> I see for you guys, Leo, it's like, the the job that you wanted right the the career that you wanted to have for yourself it's like the things that you have always desired leo start feeling a lot more real to you now whereas beforehand you had all these limited like self-limiting beliefs where it's just like you always like you had all these ideas that you wanted to accomplish leo but then right afterwards you would follow with like how complicated it would be right with this five of wands coming in here where it's just like leo for you you're just like yeah this sounds nice velka but it's just like you know all the people that you had after like a uh, compete against like you don't know if you were personally ready for this either leo like you, those excuses just no longer are relevant for you because you realize it's like you become a lot more you accept the fact that if this is happening for you, if this is happening in your life right now, if you are able to conceive it in your head, then in your brain now, you're finally starting to accept that this is meant for you, Leo. It's like no longer are you putting everyone, it's no, it's no longer you're projecting your hopes and dreams onto this fantastical character. You finally are seeing that this fantastical character is actually yourself. So in a way, Leo, for, I know this might sound weird, but it's like some of you guys are starting to become a little bit more in tune with your higher self now. It's like the sense of like, uh, how would you, I know some people have like varying beliefs, Leo, when it comes to your higher self, but I feel like you guys are starting to, what is the word for it, Leo? It's like integrating, I, I think perhaps maybe there's a better word let me know in the comments Lee if you think of a better word but it's like you're integrating more of your higher self or the the self that you want to see in your best case scenario in your, like a five-year future from now right you're realizing that the only way to have that fight the future self that you see is to start integrating some of those aspects to yourself now you're no longer like functioning from limited beliefs and you are functioning from a place of being like well of course this would happen why wouldn't it happen I put in the work darling right and so I see for many of you Leos, Queen of Wands coming in here, as well as the Knight or King of Swords coming in as well. You guys are fine. At, like, that's literally what this is for you, Leo. Like, y'all had such, y'all were so crippled, Leo, by your personal perception of yourself. And now that this clarity is finally coming in for you, and I don't feel like this is going to be something that's just overnight, Leo, for you, right? I don't feel like this is going to be like, I know it can come off that way sometimes with tarot readings, but it's like, it's not going to be a light bulb moment. It's going to be like each day that you wake up, it's going to be progressively better than the last day, where it's just like, uh yesterday you felt a little bit comfortable you know like um saying no when normally you would always say yes just to people please and then today you're being more comfortable with like you know correcting like if someone gets your order wrong or something like that like it's going to be very like seemingly pointless things to everybody else but or small things to everybody else but those small subtle things you are going to start noticing for yourself of like it doesn't mean too much in the grand scheme of things, but to you personally, for you to correct that person, it's very big for you, all right? And so I know for some of you Leos, you're gonna be like, oh, Valka, that's like overreading way too much into it. But I don't think that's actually the case, Leo. I think you guys now are just not afraid of speaking up anymore. Like that's the path that you guys are currently on. And so because you guys start taking up more space in, this, in uh, the reality that you're living in, Leo, that's when the offers start coming in right and again it's just this sense of like your own like what you had personally perceived for yourself and what you could accomplish for yourself like once you master your own like what's going on internally for you your psyche leo that's when fabulousness is really just going to be coming in for you 
all right so final cards we have the star card the eight of swords as i said darling as well as the ten of wands here for you guys so you just had a lot of burdens that you needed to like unpack leo all right you needed to have this healing period because like until you have that moment of silence in that that healing period leo like yeah you always like you always dreamt and believe like had these desires for yourself but like it, you kind of like it just is like you there's no point in trying to like push like head on and being productive right you realize that you needed to do like more internal work you need you realize you needed to have more rest days because you realize by you finally tending to your mental health your physical health like it no longer inhibits you from chasing after the exact thing that you always were wanting that star card right uh that's your wish being fulfilled aries i mean why am i calling you aries leo all right and so it's just like for you guys leo i just want to be rewarding you guys right now rewarding you guys as if i can uh i just want to celebrate you guys leo and like the self-awareness that you're having in this just really um uh this newfound clarity all right nothing in the sense of just like anything grandiose is happening leo for your life right like no big events but it's like big events for your own personal development that happens that's like no one else sees it but it's just like it's like it makes the biggest difference for you and what opportunities you're able to create for yourself now that you're no longer in your head as much and so your oracle cards coming in here stepping out of your comfort zone the north node this is exactly what it is that's uh, going on for you leo right you're getting comfortable with getting uncomfortable again and you needed to be comfortable for a while all right again i, I know it's like such a popular thing and whenever you consume spiritual uh content online where it's just like there's always this sense of like this pressure leo to constantly have like some type of personal development and what have you right and mixed with like hustle culture right it's almost as like there's like this shame uh, attached leo to being human and having the human experience but it's just like you are living proof leo that it's just like if you take the moments of pause when you hustle your hustle is going to be 10 times more meaningful compared to the ones that just didn't choose to take a break right very much so tortoise in the hair i think your animal oracle card coming in here leo is the it's time to strike out on your own and relinquish your over dependency on others which is exactly what it is that you are doing leo all right you're getting that newfound confidence all right you maybe you this is very much so like for some of you leos you need to give yourself more grace you know maybe you found yourself like uh living in spaces that you normally wouldn't want to live in um, but it's saving you money. I mean, darling, in this economy, Leo, okay? <laughs> you gotta do what you gotta do, right? But I feel like you guys are getting a lot more confidence, Leo, and uh, really just in, um, claiming more space, all right? And confidently just striking out, really. That's where the reward comes in is where the confidence in actually going out and trying to grab at those th things that you're wanting, that you're desiring, all right? So that's the weekly tarot reading that I have for you, Leo. Hopefully you found some cards that did resonate with you, darling. If you did, let me know in the comments below dialing be sure to give this video a like and subscribe all right um and then also leo be sure to check out your summon rising and being assigned remember if you want to book a private reading with me leo i only do my readings through my website linked down below simplyvelka.com all right is next down there next to my social medias tiktok and instagram both being simply velka if you want to connect with me on a more personal level leo but uh yeah darling i'm gonna connect with you guys at a later point in time thank you so much for taking this time to listen to me and i love you so much leo Bye, darling.